Hi guys, and my name is HMK, Hell's Master Knight, and welcome to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved 64 bit in survival mode. Now, if you've been following the series, what you will um, hopefully remember from the last episode is that we are going to work on the automation of our or extractor for copper directly into the hopper so we get a hundred percent automation now I've looked at what we what we will need for this and we will need a hopper a conveyor belt system and we will also need a new item called a laser energy transmitter now what we need with that is something called a lithium bar and we haven't found lithium yet so what I am going to do while I am waiting for the iron and tin to smell is that I am going to go and look for some lithium so I will pause the game here and I will be back a little bit later uh, when I found some lithium, so bye bye for now, guys. Hi, guys, and welcome back to um, the continuation. I have actually managed to find some um, unknown ore, and I believe it is the ore that we want, so I'm going to quickly research it. And hopefully, like I said, it's going to be the ore that. Um, we need. Yes, we have found this in more. I had to go quite a way for it. It took me around about 30 40 minutes to find, but um, it wasn't really too hard to find. Um, but it is in, all, in an awkward place, so what I will be doing is making some steps down there and um, I'm just going to show you where it is at the moment and uh, you can see the difficulty it, it's going to be to um, get up and down so let's go and get some more power before we go down because like I said it's, it's a fair few ways now I'm just going to ask the devs when they um, watch this is that my base is in an open environment but for some reason, Arthur is not charging, even though he's got a power core. But when I walk over here, and we're on level 19, Arthur starts charging. Not, not, not a problem at all. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering why that is. So the devs could answer one of, answer that. That would, that would be lovely. But anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. So we're going to go straight down the rabbit hole. And obviously when they put in full damage, we won't be able to do that straight away. As you can see, I'm already at level 128. Uh, this is where I found it last time. Um, I'm just going to put a torch here and we are now going down and you see I found some more coal I've actually found some more um, copper and tin and just here this little part part here this guys is the um, all that we are looking for which is uh, lithium so what I'm going to be doing off screen um, so you don't have to watch the boring part is we're going to be making some unconventional stairs so we can go and get back up to our level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game here and um, 
I will be back shortly so I will see you soon guys okay guys welcome back um, I've finished digging out all my stairs and I'll show you next time that we go down there but let's see if we actually manage to get lithium um, so we're going to go to the research centre again and not sure if we actually managed to pick any up or if we already researched it ah we've already researched it so ok fair enough I didn't think that we had so we've now got some lithium and what our main supply is going to be now is we are going to start getting this lithium smelted now at the moment we don't have a lot of it um, I'm just going to see how many bits and pieces that we do need ok and it's for the laser energy transmitter and we only need two so that's not too bad so I, I believe that we've got enough so let's just see what we've got yeah 23 yes so so we've got so we've got enough we're just gonna have to wait for the temperature to um, heat up and then we will finish off the full automation of the coal so what I'm going to do while that is um, doing that is come out of there and you can see that we've got the coal there and we need to get coal into this hopper so we're going to need another hopper here so let's just make that I did make sure that I had the um, items for it, so we've got another hopper. So we're going to put our hopper hopper here. As you can see, we've got one. So that's our hopper down, and then we will be running a convey about all the way down there now I'm going to be hoping that we've got the two bars yes we have so we're going to take the two bars out we're going to take the lithium out because we don't need that we haven't got any more water smell because we, we just haven't got enough so we're going to now make the laser energy transmitter and I'm short by one iron bar now oh I'm going to up um, let's quickly go and get some iron. Let's just straight down here. Down the passageway. It is a good idea um, to try and remember where your ores are. I I only need a small amount. Yes, we we we've got enough. Now I'm not sure if the devs are going to be doing this, um, whether or not they're going to be putting a map in, or whether you're just going to have to learn everything off by memory. So hopefully again the devs can, uh, can, uh, can answer that. Okay. We're just going to wait for this, uh, for this piece of ore, I don't think it's going to take too long. Let me just check is if it's one or two. Ah, it's, it, it's one, so it won't take won't take long at all. There we go. We're just going to watch it go up. And this will, of course, give you full autom full automation of um, your power supply. 
and yes I, I am getting a bit of hypothermia um, I'm not too worried we've, we've got the bar now I can take um, some power out don't, don't need a lot and as you can see we've got enough now for the um, laser energy transfer so we're going to craft that and what we do is the way that you place these is you have to face the direction you want to send it out so there we go and you can see it's sending power from a laser and you can see it's pulsing now if we click on this you can see in the bottom left hand corner just how much power it's, it's sending out so it's, it's not sending out much um, but, but it is sending out stuff now if you press E to fire constantly yeah I find that a better setting than if you press it here again you can see it says wait for full battery because sometimes that's not always um, in your best interest in other cases it, it is but we're going to leave it on laser fires constantly so we've always got a steady stream and as you can see now the ore extractor is fully powered okay it's not going to ever run out of power unless you haven't got coal in the actual hopper and that is our next thing to do now Let me just quickly get some more power up here is we are now going to automate this part by some by some uh, conveyor belt so you, you can roughly estimate one two three four five six seven eight nine about about ten so we want ten conveyor belts okay I'm still not sure if it's automated on on these yet so we're going to do it the old way, so we've got four, so we need some more in. Crafting, But again, it's... Where you start, what, the way that you face is the way, is, is where it's going to be. Now this is going to be an awkward one to uh, get started because of where it is. So we're going to have to slightly change the way I was going to do it unless I can I can face this way yeah uh, can, can we do it yes we can do it so there we go we've got coal coming out now this is very good helpful when you are trying to uh, do a long conveyor belt because you, you want to make sure the coal's going to travel or your ore's going to travel in the right direction. Now, I'm going to pause it again, guys. I do apologise for the amount of pausing. Um, and I'm going to go and get the rest of the ingredients so that we can finish off the um, conveyor belt. Hi, guys, and welcome back. And I'd just like to say that uh, we've now finished our production line for get into a better position so you can see fully automate fully automating our power supply so you can see now what's happened is the laser's getting its full power we've got a hopper that um, is for the coal okay we've got a conveyor belt system now that goes directly into another hopper which holds a hundred ore and you can see now that it's that it has actually stopped because it's full yeah and this hopper feeds our main power supply our main power supply feeds our storage unit and our main um, power also 
feeds the ore smelter and we also have our first laser transmitter which keeps our um, ore extractor going now once this is up to 40 up to 100 the ore extractor will stop so it doesn't waste power and that's it guys that is 100% full power going no problems whatsoever until we need to find another coal seam which as you can see we've got one over here we've also got one downstairs so I'm going to end the episode here and next episode we are going to work um, a little bit more on Arthur we're going to get him so we can recharge faster because if he recharges faster we recharge faster so I hope you've enjoyed this episode hope you will keep watching have fun enjoy the game and um, I'm hoping if the devs watch this they can answer the couple of questions within the video and then I can report back to you guys in the next couple of episodes of what their replies were. Thank you very much. This is HMK signing off. Have fun. See you later.